Stephen Paul Jobs born February 24, 1955 and died October 5, 2011 was an American entrepreneur, inventor, business magnate, media proprietor, and investor. He was the co-founder, chairman, and CEO of Apple, the chairman and majority shareholder of Pixar, a member of the Walt Disney Company's board of directors following its acquisition of Pixar, and the founder, chairman, and CEO of Next. He is widely recognized as a pioneer of the personal computer revolution of the 1970s and 1980s, along with his early business partner and fellow Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak. Born in San Francisco to a Syrian father and a German-American mother, Jobs was adopted shortly after his birth. Jobs attended Reed College in 1972 before withdrawing that same year, and traveled through India in 1974 seeking enlightenment and studying Zen Buddhism. He and Wozniak co-founded Apple in 1976 to sell Wozniak's Apple I personal computer. Together, the duo gained fame and wealth a year later with the Apple II, one of the first highly successful mass-produced microcomputers. Jobs saw the commercial potential of the Xerox Alto in 1979, which was mouse-driven and had a graphical user interface GUI. This led to the development of the unsuccessful Apple Lisa in 1983, followed by the breakthrough Macintosh in 1984, the first mass-produced computer with a GUI. The Macintosh introduced the desktop publishing industry in 1985 with the addition of the Apple Laser Writer, the first laser printer to feature vector graphics. Jobs was forced out of Apple in 1985 after a long power struggle with the company's board and its then-CEO John Scully. That same year, Jobs took a few Apple employees with him to found Next, a computer platform development company that specialized in computers for higher education and business markets. In addition, he helped to develop the visual effects industry when he funded the computer graphics division of George Lucas's Lucasfilm in 1986. The new company was Pixar, which produced the first 3D computer animated feature film Toy Story 1995 and went on to become a major animation studio, producing over 20 films since. Jobs became CEO of Apple in 1997, following the company's acquisition of Next. He was largely responsible for helping revive Apple, which had been on the verge of bankruptcy. He worked closely with English designer Johnny Ive to develop a line of products that had larger cultural ramifications, beginning in 1997 with the Think Different advertising campaign and leading to the Apple Store, App Store, iMac, iPad, iPod, iPhone, iTunes, and iTunes Store. In 2001, the original macOS was replaced with the completely new macOS X, now known as macOS, based on Next's Next Step platform, giving the OS a modern Unix-based foundation for the first time. Jobs was diagnosed with a pancreatic neuroendocrine tumor in 2003. He died of respiratory arrest related to the tumor at age 56 on October 5, 2011. Paul Jobs worked in several jobs that included a try as a machinist, several other jobs, and then back to work as a machinist. Paul and Clara adopted Jobs' sister Patricia in 1957 and by 1959 the family had moved to the Monte Loma neighborhood in Mountain View, California. It was during this time that Paul built a workbench in his garage for his son in order to pass along his love of mechanics. Jobs, meanwhile, admired his father's craftsmanship because he knew how to build anything. If we needed a cabinet, he would build it. When he built our fence, he gave me a hammer so I could work with him. I wasn't that into fixing cars, but I was eager to hang out with my dad. By the time he was 10, Jobs was deeply involved in electronics and befriended many of the engineers who lived in the neighborhood. He had difficulty making friends with children his own age, however, and was seen by his classmates as a loner. Jobs had difficulty functioning in a traditional classroom, tended to resist authority figures, frequently misbehaved, and was suspended a few times. Clara had taught him to read as a toddler, and Jobs stated that he was pretty bored in school and turned into a little terror, you should have seen us in the third grade, we basically destroyed the teacher. He frequently played pranks on others at Monte Loma Elementary School in Mountain View. His father Paul who was abused as a child never reprimanded him, however, and instead blamed the school for not challenging his brilliant son. Jobs would later credit his fourth grade teacher, Imogene Teddy Hill, with turning him around, she taught an advanced fourth grade class and it took her about a month to get hip to my situation. She bribed me into learning. 
she would say, I really want you to finish this workbook. I'll give you five bucks if you finish it. That really kindled a passion in me for learning things. I learned more that year than I think I learned in any other year in school. They wanted me to skip the next two years in grade school and go straight to junior high to learn a foreign language but my parents very wisely wouldn't let it happen. Job skipped the fifth grade and transferred to the sixth grade at Crittenden Middle School in Mountain View where he became a socially awkward loner Jobs was often bullied at Crittenden Middle, and in the middle of seventh grade, he gave his parents an ultimatum, they had to either take him out of Crittenden or he would drop out of school. Though the Jobs family was not well off, they used all their savings in 1967 to buy a new home, allowing Jobs to change schools. The new house a three-bedroom home on Crist Drive in Los Altos, California was in the better Cupertino School District, Cupertino, California, and was embedded in an environment that was even more heavily populated with engineering families than the Mountain View area was. The house was declared a historic site in 2013, as it was the first site for Apple Computer, as of 2013, it was owned by Jobs's sister, Patty, and occupied by his stepmother, Marilyn. When he was 13 in 1968, Jobs was given a summer job by Bill Hewlett of Hewlett Packard after Jobs cold called him to ask for parts for an electronics project. Stephen Paul Jobs was born in San Francisco, California, on February 24, 1955, the son of Joanne Carol Skibble and Abdul Fattah Jandali Arabic, he was adopted by Clara Ney, Hagopian and Paul Reinhold Jobs. Jandali, Jobs's biological father, was Syrian and went by the name John. He grew up in an Arab Muslim household in Homs, Syria. While an undergraduate at the American University of Beirut in Lebanon, he was a student activist and spent time in prison for his political activities. He pursued a PhD at the University of Wisconsin, where he met Skibble, an American Catholic of German and Swiss descent. As a doctoral candidate, Jandali was a teaching assistant for a course Skibble was taking, although both were the same age. Novelist Mona Simpson, Jobs's biological sister, noted that Skibble's parents were not happy that their daughter was dating a Muslim. Walter Isaacson, author of the biography Steve Jobs, additionally states that Skibble's father threatened to cut her off completely if she continued the relationship. Jobs's adoptive father was a Coast Guard mechanic. After leaving the Coast Guard, he married Hagopian, an American of Armenian descent, in 1946. Their attempts to start a family were halted after Hagopian had an ectopic pregnancy, leading them to consider adoption in 1955. Hagopian's parents were survivors of the Armenian genocide. Skibble became pregnant with Jobs in 1954, when she and Jandali spent the summer with his family in Homs. According to Jandali, Skibble deliberately did not involve him in the process, without telling me, Joanne upped and left to move to San Francisco to have the baby without anyone knowing including me. Skibble gave birth to Jobs in San Francisco on February 24, 1955, and chose an adoptive couple for him that was Catholic, well-educated, and wealthy, but the couple later changed their mind. Jobs was then placed with Paul and Clara Jobs, neither of whom had a college education, and Skibble refused to sign the adoption papers. She then took the matter to court in an attempt to have her baby placed with a different family, and only consented to releasing the baby to Paul and Clara after the couple pledged to pay for the boy's college education. Jobs's cousin, Bazma Al Jandali, maintains that Jobs's birth name was Abdul Latif Jandali. In his youth, Steve's parents took him to a Lutheran church. When Jobs was in high school, Clara admitted to his girlfriend, Chris Ann Brennan, that she was too frightened to love Steve for the first six months of his life. I was scared they were going to take him away from me. Even after we won the case, Steve was so difficult a child that by the time he was two I felt we had made a mistake. I wanted to return him. When Chris Ann shared this comment with Steve, he stated that he was already aware, and would later say he was deeply loved and indulged by Paul and Clara. Many years later, Jobs's wife Laureen also noted that he felt he had been really blessed by having the two of them as parents. Jobs would become upset when Paul and Clara were referred to as his adoptive parents, he regarded them as his parents 1,000%. With regard to his biological parents, Jobs referred to them as my sperm and egg bank. That's not harsh, it's just the way it was, a sperm bank thing, nothing more. Paul Jobs worked in several jobs that included a try as a machinist, several other jobs, 
and then back to work as a machinist. Paul and Clara adopted Jobs' sister Patricia in 1957 and by 1959 the family had moved to the Monte Loma neighborhood in Mountain View, California. It was during this time that Paul built a workbench in his garage for his son in order to pass along his love of mechanics. Jobs, meanwhile, admired his father's craftsmanship because he knew how to build anything. If we needed a cabinet, he would build it. When he built our fence, he gave me a hammer so I could work with him. I wasn't that into fixing cars, but I was eager to hang out with my dad. By the time he was 10, Jobs was deeply involved in electronics and befriended many of the engineers who lived in the neighborhood. He had difficulty making friends with children his own age, however, and was seen by his classmates as a loner. Jobs had difficulty functioning in a traditional classroom, tended to resist authority figures, frequently misbehaved, and was suspended a few times. Clara had taught him to read as a toddler, and Jobs stated that he was pretty bored in school and had turned into a little terror, you should have seen us in the third grade, we basically destroyed the teacher. He frequently played pranks on others at Monte Loma Elementary School in Mountain View. His father Paul who was abused as a child never reprimanded him, however, and instead blamed the school for not challenging his brilliant son. Jobs would later credit his fourth grade teacher, Imogene Teddy Hill. With turning him around, she taught an advanced fourth grade class and it took her about a month to get hip to my situation. She bribed me into learning. She would say, I really want you to finish this workbook. I'll give you five bucks if you finish it. That really kindled a passion in me for learning things. I learned more that year than I think I learned in any other year in school. They wanted me to skip the next two years in grade school and go straight to junior high to learn a foreign language but my parents very wisely wouldn't let it happen. Jobs skipped the fifth grade and transferred to the sixth grade at Crittenden Middle School in Mountain View where he became a socially awkward loner. Jobs was often bullied at Crittenden Middle, and in the middle of seventh grade, he gave his parents an ultimatum, they had to either take him out of Crittenden or he would drop out of school. Though the Jobs family was not well off, they used all their savings in 1967 to buy a new home, allowing Jobs to change schools. The new house a three-bedroom home on Crist Drive in Los Altos, California was in the better Cupertino School District, Cupertino, California, and was embedded in an environment that was even more heavily populated with engineering families than the Mountain View area was. The house was declared a historic site in 2013, as it was the first site for Apple Computer, as of 2013, it was owned by Jobs' sister, Patty, and occupied by his stepmother, Marilyn. When he was 13 in 1968, Jobs was given a summer job by Bill Hewlett, of Hewlett Packard, after Jobs. Cold called him to ask for parts for an electronics project. Jobs died at his Palo Alto, California, home around 3 p.m. PDT on October 5, 2011, due to complications from a relapse of his previously treated islet cell pancreatic neuroendocrine tumor, which resulted in respiratory arrest. He had lost consciousness the day before and died with his wife, children, and sisters at his side. His sister, Mona Simpson, described his death thus, Steve's final words, hours earlier, were monosyllables, repeated three times. Before embarking, he'd looked at his sister Patty, then for a long time at his children, then at his life's partner, Laureen, and then over their shoulders past them. Steve's final words were, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow. He then lost consciousness and died several hours later. A small private funeral was held on October 7, 2011, the details of which, out of respect for Jobs's family, were not made public. Apple and Pixar each issued announcements of his death. Apple announced on the same day that they had no plans for a public service, but were encouraging well-wishers to send their remembrance messages to an email address created to receive such messages. Apple and Microsoft both flew their flags at half-staff throughout their respective headquarters and campuses. Bob Iger ordered all Disney properties, including Walt Disney World and Disneyland, to fly their flags at half-staff from October 6 to 12, 2011. For two weeks following his death, Apple displayed on its corporate website a simple page that showed Jobs' name and lifespan next to his grayscale portrait. On October 19, 2011, Apple employees held a private memorial service for Jobs on the Apple campus in Cupertino. Jobs's widow, Laureen, was in attendance, as well as Cook, Bill Campbell, Nora Jones, 
Al Gore, and Coldplay. Some of Apple's retail stores closed briefly so employees could attend the memorial. A video of the service was uploaded to Apple's website. California Governor Jerry Brown declared Sunday, October 16, 2011, to be Steve Jobs' day. On that day, an invitation-only memorial was held at Stanford University. Those in attendance included Apple and other tech company executives, members of the media, celebrities, close friends of Jobs, and politicians, along with Jobs's family. Bono, Yo-Yo Ma, and Joan Baez performed at the service, which lasted longer than an hour. The service was highly secured, with guards at all of the university's gates, and a helicopter flying overhead from an area news station. Each attendee was given a small brown box as a farewell gift from Jobs. The box contained a copy of the autobiography of a yogi by Paramahansa Yogananda, childhood friend and fellow Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak, former owner of what would become Pixar. George Lucas, former rival, Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates, and President Barack Obama all offered statements in response to his death. Per his request, Jobs is buried in an unmarked grave at Alta Mesa Memorial Park, the only non-sectarian cemetery in Palo Alto. On October 7, 2021, Apple released a commemorative YouTube video on the 10th anniversary of Jobs's passing, although entirely designed by Steve Wozniak. Jobs had the idea of selling the desktop computer, which led to the formation of Apple Computer in 1976. Both Jobs and Wozniak constructed several of the first Apple I prototypes by hand, and sold some of their belongings in order to do so. Eventually, 200 units were produced. The Apple II is an 8-bit home computer, one of the world's first highly successful mass-produced microcomputer products, designed primarily by Wozniak, Though Jobs oversaw the development of the Apple II's unusual case and Rod Holt developed the unique power supply, it was introduced in 1977 at the West Coast Computer Fair by Jobs and Wozniak and was the first consumer.